Hi, in this video we're talking about Mona's weekly mentionables and unmentionables. Those products that I used this week and really liked and those that I'd rather not mention. So what's on my mentionable list this week? It's some jewelry first by a company called Yafini. The company advertises on Instagram a lot and it caught my eye because it was personalized jewelry. And July 4th will be the four year anniversary of my dad's passing and also we're about to have Father's Day so he's been really heavily on my mind. And this is just something that reminds me of him. So I'm going to zoom out first just so you can see how dainty and delicate it is. See it's small and it's delicate, very feminine and very pretty. So it has three little pieces and I'm going to zoom in for that. Now you can customize these any way you want. These would be perfect customization for like your child's name, your children's name, spouse, significant other, your name. So it has three little dangles. So this one is my dad's birthstone which is topaz. This one is this one is the date that he left me, which was July 4th, 2017, so that date is engraved on here. And this just says daddy. I just think this is beautiful and it's very meaningful. I feel like I'm carrying my dad close to my heart and I I'm really enjoying this piece. I just picked up this piece. This is an engravable bracelet that has my name on it. You can choose the color whether you want silver or gold and whether you and you can also choose the font. This bracelet was only $28. This necklace in silver was $38 and gold it is $28. So for under $40 or under $30, I don't think you can beat this. It's just very sweet. I think this would be a great gift for a new mom with the the child's name, the date of their birth, and their birthstone. I'll link their site below and they have plenty other jewelry that you can check out for very reasonable costs and it's all engravable just there's a lot of variety so i reached out to them and i told them that i had a youtube channel and asked them if i could have a discount code for my viewers and they were nice enough to give me a 20 percent and you can get 20 percent off any order on their site it's not an affiliate code i'm not affiliated with them it is just something to pass on to you the other thing that's on my own mentionable list this week is the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 Parfum. Oh my goodness. Like the Boom Boom Cream, I think that you would like this. $78 for 1.7 fluid ounces. It's sort of a spicy, warm fragrance. The scent family is really like warm and sweet gourmand. It's definitely got a sweet tone to it because the notes are vanilla, salted caramel, pistachio, and jasmine. What a combination. In fact, my husband always says he can't smell. Like I'll say, does that smell good? Or do you smell dinner cooking? Or doesn't dinner smell good? And he'll say, I can't smell anything. You know I can't smell anything. When I wear this, he's like, ooh, you smell good. I don't have a problem with the strength of the scent or the longevity of the scent. I don't want my fragrance to go out real far ahead of me or to, you know, linger way after I've walked away. I like it to be in my personal space, so this suits me just fine. I will just do a quick mention of the lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I didn't want to want them. I didn't want to. These are so pretty. Can you see the little lips on them? So there's three colors in the Matte Revolution formula, and these are designed, you know, being released in June. The time of weddings. The boxes are really pretty. A lot of people said that they had these in their collection. I watched Not Print for Beauty and she convinced me to buy these. Thank you Rebecca. <laughs> and she did a more in-depth review than I'm doing for you here because I'm just doing my weekly mentions and I will drop the link to that video in the description. But these do not match any of my current shades. Aren't those pretty? 
This is my favorite. The one on the end. So we have Mrs. Kisses. We have First Dance. And we have Wedding Bells. So I, I love them all. I did get the two lip liners too. These are just, these are just my colors. They're not as close to my other Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks as they are to my favorite Pat McGrath lipsticks, which are Skin Fix, Skin Sane, and Ami. But the Ami is in my purse because that is my all-time favorite color. And these two at the end are Skin Fix and Skin Sane by Pat McGrath. And you can see they're very similar to this color right here by Shirley Tilbury. I definitely have a taste in lipstick colors. Okay, the other mentionables. I wanna thank Clarence because they gifted me these two products through my request by Oxley. I love when they say yes when I see something I want. What I asked for and what they sent me was the gamage, the exfoliating body scrub, and the body oil. You guys know that I like body oils over body lotions if you've watched my channel for any length of time this is already halfway gone i've already only had it for about two weeks this smells very fresh watch how it gets rid of these lipsticks so it's got a gentle bamboo powder in it that softens smooths and firms and I just put this on while I'm in the tub, and I like to rub this all over my whole body, focusing especially on knees and elbows and heels, but everywhere. You see how easy this comes off? Oh my gosh, it just takes everything off, and it leaves you very exfoliated and smooth. I'm going to use this up in no time because guess what? I don't just use it two or three times a week. I use it every time I've gotten in the bath since I've gotten it and it leaves my skin instantly, instantly smooth. And then when I get out of the bathtub, then I'm applying this oil. It is Wheel Tonic, 100% extracts of plants. It is also firming and toning. And it smells, I can smell peppermint oil in it, and I really love the smell of pe peppermint. To me, that's invigorating, it's hydrating. I love just to just put this all over a little goes a long way after I get out of the tub I find that it stretches for and it covers everything and it leaves you just having some aromatherapy and your body feels nice and soft love it the MAC body and face bronze collection I did not get the whole collection but I did order a lot of it it's what I have mostly on my face right now it's what I have on my eyes I am enjoying it. This is this is a fun collection. The packaging on this this collection I think is really says summer. Everything's bronze. I like the packaging. Mac hasn't released anything in a long time that I've actually been excited about getting until now. Look at the way the fold shadows are. They look like sort of beach waves to me. They just say Mona wants to go to the beach pretty that is so this is the color white hoat these can be used wet or they can be used dry and i got the color tide and seek which is kind of a taupey purple and it is so pretty look at that this is the color sunphoria this is kind of a light pink tell me these colors aren't pretty This is dry. You can wet them and make them more intense. These are long lasting. Zoom in my eyes so you can see my eye look. So you can get a two color look if you want. That's really easy. Or you can get, just use one color and sweep it across. It's extremely easy to use. Or you can wet your brush and you can apply it and get a really full metallic look. It stays on all day. It's water resistant so you can splash around in the pool or splash around in the ocean and it's not going anywhere. Let's talk about the strobe face glaze that comes with this collection. 
I'm in love with this formula. This is definitely like the glass skin formula. You can see I have it on my face. Doesn't pick up texture. It doesn't have any glitter or any micro glitter. It is just pearlescent and shiny. You can share it up, out or build it up. It's definitely face enhancing. I mean, you can see the pearlescence on the side of my face. I love the texture. I love the consistency of it. This is going to be one of my favorite facial illuminators for sure. I think for an older mature woman that this is, this is a perfect formulation. You can be sassy and still classy and not age yourself at all. It's fun and wearable at the same time. That's what this whole collection I think is. Fun and wearable even for the mature woman. I got three lip glosses and one lipstick. Because I didn't even know if I was going to like these. So I didn't want to get the whole collection before I tried them. So I have Chromance. Summer Chromance. The names are so cute. Too Cool for Pool. What is this pearl? So out of this pearl, too cool for pool and summer chromance. I mean, how cute is that? So this one is the summer chromance. This is too cool for school, too cool for pool. And I would normally not go to anything this bright and that's what I have on today. It is just fun. And this is out of this pearl. love the names. I love the packaging. These have Wahoba oil in them. They're smoothing, soothing, softening. How pretty the packaging is. They feel good on your lips. They last a long time. They're not too sticky, but they have enough grip to stay. Those are the colors. The lipstick that I got was the bright orange one. And you saw about all those lipstick shades. This is definitely not in my comfort zone, but I wanted it. For, for, for some reason, this whole collection just appealed to me. Look, this is definitely orange. It's super, super creamy, the formula. Very pigmented, feels great on your lips. It's kind of a semi luminous finish. And you can pump it up by applying this Too Cool for Pool gloss, which is pretty pigmented. It kind of gives you that vinyl look. Vinyl, gloss, shine, real high shine. But it's not too much. I love it. It's pretty and it feels good on my lips and I like the bright vibrant colors because I'm definitely more of a peachy pink nude, peach nude kind of person, brown nude even kind of person. This summer chromance color is really pretty too. Very summery. You can use this with a more bron for a more bronzy look with a different kind of lipstick. You can wear it by itself or you can pair it with something else. And this one is pretty much pearlescent with just the flecks of gold in it. Really, really am enjoying this collection. I think it definitely is worth mentioning. And if you haven't picked any of these up, I think they're fun. I'll have links in the description box. Definitely summer, definitely fun. The lip glasses are $18.50. I think the lipsticks might be the lipsticks are 20. This is the color Cans Do It, by the way, that I have on. 
The eye color pigments, the foil shadows, those are $26 a piece. So now we're going to get into, we'll get into my unmentionables. But before we do that, I just wanted to say, I did get my two Pat McGrath limited edition palettes in. They are really pretty. So I'm thankful that I did get them in. This is the Rose Gold of the Divine Rose 2 palette. And I got the Baby Pink color in the Divine Rose 1. And I also got the two lipstick packages the one in peach and the one in pink if you guys are interested in seeing any looks with these palettes or any comparisons between one eye and the other you've probably seen buku tutorials by this point on those palettes we're going to go with my unmentionables now so mona's unmentionable for the week number one is the kevin o'quan stripped nude skin tint this is relatively new at sephora I've been having it for a few weeks. You can see I've used probably half the tube already. I mean, it's really, most of the product is down here. I am not gonna waste it. I do like the packaging. I like the pump dispenser. I like the idea behind it, okay? My color is light, ST03. The color is a perfect match for my skin. It says that it is a tinted sheer to light coverage for a natural finish that feels like you're wearing next to nothing and it's got good for you skin ingredients in it. It's $42. That's my problem with this. It's $42 and it really did nothing to make my skin look better. Did it feel next to nothing? Was it, it sheer coverage? Yes, that's what it said. But usually with a formula like this, I guess I'm getting more light than sheer. It didn't even diminish the redness that I get right here. So I would have really needed a lot of concealer in addition to this. I just think that although there's nothing wrong with this, there was nothing that it did for me that I would pay $42 for. I would might as well just put a little concealer on and not wear foundation at all. It just didn't... It, it didn't add anything. It might not have taken anything away except $42 out of my bank account, but it didn't add it didn't add anything. It didn't add any benefit that I could feel. The other fail to mention for this week would be for me the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. So what I have to say about this is that this is the mascara that I have on today. So you might say, well, Mona, your, your lashes look nice. They don't look bad. Uh, I have long lashes and I don't have problems building them up and getting my lashes to look like this with almost any mascara. So for me, it really wasn't anything extra special. The packaging is heavy. It has two wands so this one is to curl and volumize and this end i said curl and volumize it, it the other end is to curl and lengthen this is to volumize i'm sorry about that this end I do kind of like this wand on this side, the volumizing wand. The one that's curved to lengthen and curl, I guess because it's trying to curl, it really grips onto your lashes and I don't find that it, it's comfortable. I don't enjoy using this product. So because for me, I can get a look of lengthened volumized lashes that or good enough for me with other products, with a drugstore product even. I don't think that this is worth the price. I don't enjoy the inconvenience of having to use two sides of the product. I don't enjoy the way the curl and lengthen side feels when I'm putting it on. If you get it too close to your eyelid, I find that it kind of scrapes it. 
I, I don't enjoy using it and the benefits to me don't outweigh the negatives because I can get this look pretty much any kind of way. So I much prefer the At Lash by Marc Jacobs. I am loving this mascara. This is like $27. I would definitely repurchase this. I think it makes my lashes look great. I like the way it feels going on. I like the way it lasts all day. I like the way it doesn't flake or smudge. I don't have any transfer. I also like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brad. These are like my two most recent mascara grabs and I like them both better than the Huda Beauty. See you in the next video and until then go out and live like Mel.